Hey everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. Now, one of the services that our clients most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy S9. I don't know if the back is going to cooperate here with the glare and the shininess on. Oh, there we go. So the, yes, this is an S9 that we have here, and this device is one that does have the Google account lock enabled. As we're going through the setup process here, we can see that the device is asking for the previous Google account that was on it, and there doesn't seem to be any way to actually be able to get past that without, of course, having the actual email and password that was assigned to the device. Now, this is a security feature that was implemented by Google back in Android 5 to help combat some of the theft and the fraud that happens all the time with mobile devices these days. So basically, when you have a device and you factory reset it without first taking off the Google account, then it's going to be locked to that account after the factory reset, and it's going to request that you sign back in with the same account that was on it in order to be able to use the device again. So we're basically making this video to let all of our customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove this type of lock from this device without having to have that email and password login information. Over the years, we've been contacted by tons of customers from all over the world who have needed this service, usually either because they accidentally got themselves locked out of the device and they didn't remember their password to get back in and couldn't reset their Google password or whatever the situation may be. Or also the other unfortunate thing is that too often these days, there are a lot of dishonest sellers who will sell a device with, that has the lock enabled, but they don't properly inform the buyer about it. And it's something that the buyer may not be aware of to check. So unfortunately they go to buy the device, find out it has a lock, and then it just winds up as an unusable device. So this procedure is something that we can do to the device just using our computer programs and tools to completely erase the entire thing without needing the actual login. It can be performed for pretty much anyone anywhere in the world as long as you have a decent computer and a fast internet connection. And that's actually exactly what we're doing here to the device while it's plugged in with the cable. So in just another minute or so, we should be able to see that we can reset the device or restart it, and we should just be able to get all the way through the setup process now without seeing that lock there. So give me just another few seconds here to finish running up the program and then we should be able to again see that that lock has been fully and successfully cleared off. One moment here while I wrap up. Okay, so everything should be wrapped up now. We can just go ahead and initiate a restart here. Whoops, screen went out. So we're still on the lock screen there as you can see. So we're just going to initialize a restart here. And then again, we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the setup at the end now without seeing that lock. So there's the S9 screen. And this just happens to be a Verizon device, so it's going to show Verizon information here. Starting up Android. Okay, there we are finally. So we can go ahead and hit start and agree to the terms and conditions. Oh, there we go. And then something there about Verizon. We're going to skip through Wi Fi, check in for updates. And this now is interesting here because we can see that the device is asking specifically for any Google account instead of the one that was specifically on the device previously. So that's a very good sign. So let me just skip through here through the rest of things and we should be able to then see that we can reach the home screen just as normal once I wrap up the rest of this stuff. Setup process feels so long on these devices these days. Skip, skip, 
Done. Okay, there we go. So we finally have the home screen here loaded up and the device has now had that Google account lock completely removed and is fully usable since we have access to all features and functions again. Then just so you see what we are working with here, we're gonna jump into settings real quick. And then just to confirm that we are working with a Galaxy S9 with that model number of G960U, which is the model number for all carrier versions of the S9 here in the US. So. If you have a Galaxy S9 and would like to get the Google account lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. We should also mention that this is fully doable for the Galaxy S9 Plus also, as are essentially the exact same phone and the Plus just having the bigger screen and bigger battery. So either one of those we would love to help you out with, so get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the info there as well. Make sure to check out all the other videos that we have here on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly putting up just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.